Hey there Pisces, welcome to your reading for the week of September 19th. Uh, this week I'm still collaborating with Marie Moore, so definitely check out Marie. She's a fellow Pisces, link at the top of the description. And of course she does tarot and astrology uh, every single week and every single month. So definitely check her out. Uh, but let's see what is going on for you this week. Should be an interesting week. It's been pretty interesting for everybody so far. Uh, definitely some new stuff coming in, new energies just for everybody in general. Uh, so that's nice, but uh, oh yeah, looks good. Um, the one thing that is coming up and, and did come up uh, earlier is friends. Be careful with friends, and we'll talk about that in a minute. I would say for Pisces, it has to do with finances. Be careful with loaning money to friends or anything like that this week. Um, you know, unless, like I say, you know, unless you're okay with not seeing it again, I would say be very careful of that. But you have the Eight of Clubs, more confusion. Uh, I do feel like Pisces is still probably a little bit confused about this, that, and the other thing, you know, in all areas of their life. I do think this will clear up eventually. Uh, it just might take time, but things are clearing up. Uh, this card is definitely the card of taking the, low, the road less traveled, as I say. Uh, usually with this card, it's like you're presented with two options in life in, in whatever area you are confused, whether it be love or business or finance or whatever. Um, it's like you'll always be presented with two ways to go. One will be new. One will be old. The trick with this card is to pick the new path, pick the different path, pick the new journey that will lead to the most success. But having said that, it's followed up by the two hearts. So definitely could have love coming in, could be meeting somebody this week or just uh, you know building a deeper relationship with somebody in general. It's a very good love card. If you're in a relationship, this is a card of that relationship deepening in a lot of ways and more love coming in there. So I like to see that for you. But this is just a great love card and finding somebody who you really match up with. I would say actually love is definitely on the table for Pisces this week. There's a lot of like really good love cards here. So uh, this is a good start for that. Next, you have the Seven of Spades. Um, I do think that uh, your fears could be holding you back this week. So definitely let go of any fears you have. Like if you think you should start a new business or start something new, I'm getting that a lot of you should be starting something new this week, uh, whether it be a new business or a new relationship or whatever. Uh, you know, Definitely let those fears go because they could be uh, holding you back and preventing you from something very successful as well. This is also a card of do not argue with friends under this card because you will lose that friend. So you know, if, again, just allow the other person to be right in, this week, and, uh, you know, they will see in the future that they were wrong, but uh, not a week to argue. Again, two of spades, three of diamonds came out together. Uh, <clears throat> I would say that this can represent arguments over finances with a friend. Do not get involved with finances in a friend this week at all, and uh, also don't loan money to a friend at all this week, because, again, it could cause something. Again, I always say, you know, do not loan money to a friend unless you're okay with never seeing it again if you are okay with that then by all means loan the money to a friend but don't go in with the expectations to ever see that money again because you will not uh and you know the problem with pisces and i feel this way too i'm a pisces i totally get it is that you know sometimes we can i think we can tell ourselves you know what okay you know a friend only needs a hundred bucks not a big deal i'm okay with losing that hundred bucks but then when it comes time to actually not get it back you know, I think sometimes us Pisces can can get a little bit more upset about it. You know what I mean? Even even if we tell ourselves we're not going to, then we can you know we still can set up some of these unrealistic expectations. So don't allow that to happen. Like I said, I've done it before. I'm I'm totally guilty of that. So just know that you probably won't see money back if you lend it. Uh, next, you have the Six of Hearts. Great card. Turnaround of energy and being able to put energy into things and see it back equally, if not better. I think for the most part, Pisces has been working on things that have not been getting uh, that return. They have not been getting anything back, basically. Or they've been getting you know slim pickings back from whatever they've uh, been putting energy into. So again, this represents more harmony and uh, more... Uh, more of a better return on energy. Again, if you've been trying to start a business or something, this can definitely say, you know, it's probably very difficult or a new or a new job or a relationship. It's probably just been very slow and hard. This represents a turnaround in that energy. Next, you have the Ace of Diamonds. Amazing card. Uh, represents innovation, new businesses, new jobs, more money coming in and stepping off onto new paths. So I think this week marks the beginning of a new path for Pisces. I think October is going to be a great month for Pisces. We're almost there. And it's funny because, you know, I've watched a couple of people who said, you know, uh, October is going to suck and all this other stuff. But I don't know. I just have a, I have a much better and much different feeling about October than most people, I guess. And I think it's going to go quite well. 
uh, especially for Pisces, but I think this represents the start of that new path. Uh, but great card for money as well. And finally, you have the Six of Diamonds, another great card for money and better money coming in, and also getting started on new things and new money opportunities coming in. It is a card that can represent arguments, uh, so do not argue with friends. Again, definitely stay out of that stuff. Uh, just trust me, it, it will not end well. And this is a card of financial responsibility, and again, it can represent uh, repayment of a loan, but again, I feel like you will not be getting repayment this week, so just be careful of that. But all in all, it looks like a great week, so thank you for watching, and enjoy your week.